addendum to the last video, I wanted to print out a Benchy with all the crazy features toggled on, like just to see what happened, you know, space invaders and all that. I just didn't have time to do it before I got that video out, but it was a snowy day today in Philadelphia and freezing. So I just stayed inside and printed a Benchy. This is from a Steenerson's Fork of Marlin that I posted a link to last night. Installed that on the, uh, the SKR Mini and the print settings are all exactly the same as the last Benchy that I did, except I had to re-slice it to turn off combing because it was my understanding that combing doesn't work with like linear advance. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Maybe I'm just making things up. And there's debate about whether you should be using linear advance with a Bowden tube. It works just fine. It's just better meant for a direct drive extruder. We are moving from Marlin 1.9 to Marlin 2.0. We are adding linear advance. We're moving from an 8-bit board to a 32-bit board, Allegro drivers to trinamic drivers, from jerk to junction deviation, and from trapezoidal acceleration pattern to S-curve. I already had the linear advance uh, settings plugin in Cura installed because I use it on my other machines. I set the advance factor to 0.7 just based on one quick test. It probably has to be tweaked in, but I just wanted to get in the ballpark for this test and too much higher and I got terrible extruder skipping, so yeah. Now I noticed on my other machines that when you turn all that stuff on, it tends to complete a little bit slower. So I compared the times, it was 8.4% slower, so that's not too bad. And the results were surprising, actually. I wasn't sure, just like I wasn't sure with the previous test, if there was going to be a big difference between just the 8-foot board and the SKR. Well, the SKR plus all the fancy-schmancy features that weren't turned on with the stock configuration actually made a pretty big difference. And I knew they'd help, but last time I configured a printer from scratch with the advanced features was uh, quite a while ago and it took a bit of massaging to get it tweaked in and i'm going to mark the original board benchy og and then the new board with the new firmware and all the tweaks pimp and i have been printing pretty much non-stop since i put that firmware on here to make sure there's no errors so hopefully this holds true of many shapes and not just benchies so first thing i noticed was that if you look on the left with the OG, the letters on the back are kind of garbled, whereas on the right, they're much, much more legible with the new settings. Although there's this weird like blobbing thing going on here and in the middle of one of the letters, I don't know what's going on with that. I'll have to figure it out later. Also that weird ripple ring thing that was going on, that's gone too, but I, I expected that because that was the way it was with just the SKR without any of these features. Also, we had improved rigging significantly just by switching to the SKR, but with the additional fancy stuff hooked in, it, they're gone altogether. For some reason, there was this weird line across the hull in the previous prints. Uh, as you can see in this one, they go bye-bye. Also, the last layers before the bridging on these overhangs, that turned out a lot better. And you can see the same effect here with the side doors and with the overhang on the top, the roof, whatever it's called. Also, on the layer just above the top bridge before on these side doors, that had some kind of a uh, weird layer effect, and that's gone on the new print, as well as cleaning up the bottom narrowest part of the smokestack. So, yep, yeah, there you go. Super short, super sweet. Just thought I'd throw that out there because it's something that I wanted to do with the last video and just didn't. And before you ask a bunch of questions about like settings and tweaking and all that, there will be separate videos going into lengthy and vivid detail about how to tweak all those in and what all of the settings actually mean, because I know some of them are confusing. All right, peace.